Evolution. Evolution's role in our lives. Lives. Something evolved and got way past what most people understand and what that was was our society and how it works. Society is a big word. Within that evolution, right, this uh, micro, macro versus micro thing that some people squawk about, well, that's just how life works. Things evolve. They change. Evolution could just show a decay in something, right? Over time, short periods of time, long periods of time. Things can devolve, they can evolve, they can change. They usually, in the human realm, ideas, spectrum, improve. Or I wouldn't be able to record this video. But what happened since the 50s, since the nuclear revolution brought so much money into the sciences, the hard sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, nuclear chemistry, nuclear physics, almost, well, they're, they're additive fields. You have to get through one to get to the next one. We can argue about the education system. Mine wasn't theirs. The fact is things change under our feet and that can be termed a form of evolution. But that word has specific context in the room you're speaking in. You wouldn't use that term and talk about electronics and computers and how fast they've got. This is the biggest spark in the electronics revolution is the speed of things now. It used to just be physically the things because we were transitioning from an analog understanding. Old equipment with pitcher tubes in it and tubes and capacitors and there was no such thing as a computer inside of them. It was all analog. Analog computers if you enjoy that term. But that change under our feet that so few people were a part of Oh my gosh, you know, you had to have had a chance, an opportunity to work in that world to see what it's done for us. You hear about artificial intelligence, you see it, you interact with it. That thing on the phone might be artificial in nature and refer you to a human after you answer 27 ridiculous questions. Or it might do the job that you called it for. Anyway, this technical revolution underneath this is based on how fast our electronics can run and sample and taste and smell and test. It's an amazing whole new world that allowed a touch screen to work. <laughs> Remember having to dial a rotary phone? Now you can touch a screen and guide a cursor around. Kind of amazing when you think about it. Truly amazing. It's the watchmaker scenario for a lot of people. Only they don't even think about it. They just have something in their hand that is foundationally came from federal research dollars. So this evolution truly came about with the, our ability to sample things very fast, very discreetly, very precisely. It speeds beyond what most comprehend, have a need to understand. Truly not easy things. So inside of that are these things called institutions. It's like we have institutions that do medical thingies. We have institutions that do pollution thingies. We have institutions that regulate buildings for good reasons, for earthquakes, for floods, where they can go, how they can build, how deep the lines in the ground have to be buried to avoid frost, right? Regulations, rules, guidelines, you're surrounded by them. To deny them? 
to make game out of them, to make uh, vote, least harm. Anyway, didn't go do whatever pieces out. Uh,